Good morning, gamers! What am I doing with my life, dude? Holy shit. Things look a little different, don't they? I'm not at my house right now. I'm currently at my friend's house taking care of dogs, and I still want to get my weekly video out, so here we are. And for those of you that don't know, I'm Axel Ward. I'm an unemployed college graduate. I don't really have a better way to use my time than, uh, write a game engine in C++. Oh. I thought OBS just crashed. It's fine. Everything is fine. It's currently Friday, August 14th. Back up a few days and I'll try and catch you up on what I've been doing so far this week. So I started off the week feeling a little lost and confused. So I thought to myself, what better way to deal with not knowing what I wanted to do next than to make an epic Trello board? That seems pretty reasonable. So I slapped this bad boy together and then I got started on this little set of tasks right over here. So now it's time for everybody's favorite video filler segment, the time-lapse montage. just like that, I had some pretty nice looking cubes. And I also got to smack some tasks complete in my Trello board. Woo. So basically what all that was is implementing a game object system so that way different things can be represented in the engine in a little bit more of a homogenous way. Nothing really exciting or new or innovative at all. It's basically like the groundwork of representing everything in the engine. So it was good to get done first. Then it was time to start struggling with it, the input system. <sighs> this was the part of the week where the C++ gods were like... You, Axel. So it was pointer party time. So the first problem I decided to tackle with the input system was handling when the user resized the window. So that way you don't get squishing and stretching like you're seeing here. But here's the issue. This squishing and stretching is after I had implemented the fix for it. So the fix just didn't do anything. Last time I checked, that's not good. Basically, I was taking all the data from the camera object and copying it into the window resize handler. And then I was modifying that data and never sending it back. So when the render engine wanted to use that data, to change the way that the camera's perspective looked, then it would still find all the old data, which is terrible. You know what the worst part about the whole deal was? It took me two days to get this fixed. But once I finally did get it fixed, I felt so good. And look at how well this system works now. And with all that resizing garbage, out of the way, I could finally move on to doing the keyboard and mouse input. And thank the Lord this went smoother. I basically sat down, started writing the systems for keyboard and mouse input, and then four hours later had them both working no problem. Here is a demo video of it working. The keyboard is moving the camera around and you can see the mouse position being read in the console next to it. So I'm not doing anything fancy with the input yet, but it's there and it's working. But yeah, that means uh, we're pretty much caught up to the present. But in case you couldn't tell, I'm tired as shit. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get some sleep, and then uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what kind of stuff I get to work on this weekend. Oof. It's now the next morning, and I spent a little bit of time looking at the code that I've written, and uh, yikes. Yuck. So before this gets any more out of hand than it already has gotten, I'm gonna get in there and try and clean this bitch up. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that, my code base is marginally cleaner. Unfortunately, I don't really have the knowledge to clean it up all the way right now. A lot of the cleanup work is going to require decoupling the systems. And at the moment, I just don't really have the knowledge to do that stuff. So that's for a later date. However, I did get a new best friend. 
that will hopefully help me acquire this knowledge. This guy seems to have a lot to say about the patterns that are used in game programming. I'm going to be doing a bunch of reading on that for the next couple days and not a lot of programming, which means it's probably time for this video to come to an end because let's be real, reading is boring as f Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you next week.